going to show you how to make a song similar to G. Jones. And disclaimer, this isn't confirmed to be any of how G. Jones does things. So just based off of things that I've noticed. So first, I'd recommend downloading the Jungle Jungle sample pack, which is free. A lot of samples that G. Jones uses in the songs can be found in that pack, such as the Wheel Up Signal. First thing we can do is go to our instruments tab, find operator, scroll down to acid base, get arpeggiator. I would get a scale MIDI device and pick like any non-standard scale. Like I'm flipping through like minor Hungarian. Let's do something with the tonic of E. The jungle jungle sample pack has a lot of break beats you can use. And with any breakbeat sample, you can take all of any you have in one folder. You make a cool rack by dragging in one of the drum loops, grouping it, opening up the chain window, and then drag the rest in your folder into the instrument rack. If you select all of them, extend all of them to be 0 to 127, then right click and distribute ranges equally. You can move along which sample plays. And we also map that to a macro. But now that we have all of them in, we can place sections of the drum loop by pressing slice on all of them, slicing by beat and say like quarter note. Normally on Ableton devices, you can right click on a parameter and copy a value to all siblings. But sadly, slice isn't one of them. So we have to go in manually, change all of them to be slice and beat. So this takes a second. But after you have all of your break beats warped, you can get an arp set the gate to 100. If you play it on your keyboard, starting from C on the first octave. So basically your piano roll will essentially look like like this. I'm gonna press this plus button and start recording. You could also get an LFO, set it to random, and then smooth it or something, map it to your chain selector, and then resample it. I might as well change the ARP to be 8th notes or 16th. So once you have a loop you like, align it. And since the breakbeat is taking up a lot of the mix, we can EQ it. Now I might get a multiband compression for the acid. And I think I'm gonna make a send for my ARP buddy rack that's in my rack pack. Let me route this through my sidechain. I might get like a trappy kind of snare. So to like kind of lead into this section, we have automate the velocity on the arpeggiator. And also this envelope here in the operator filter. Some quick high-end drums. And multiple layers just for depth. Might need some background laser elements so we can make a quick laser in an operator. I'll do that by getting an envelope MIDI. Save that for later. Get a pitch envelope. Take the peak 48. I might also do a filter envelope. Then I might get a shifter. And then in the envelope MIDI, I would go 5100 and modulate the shifter course. And then you can compress it and stuff. Might even do our trusty jump rope trick. And I like this sound, so I think I'm gonna resample it. Then with that, we can get a delay. Delay like either the right or left side. And maybe add a grain delay. Now to make this sound more like video gaming, we can get Redux. And just turn down the sample rate. Maybe jitter it. And also... Also get an auto pan for this one to make the circle around your head. And then turn up our sense to add more depth. And then maybe cut some of this high end a little bit. So 
So now if you wanted to add like say like some rave chords to it, you could sample this song called Fortuna. <laughs> sample out of it. So I've added redux and overdrive and some compression to this and then more redux. And then spectral time to give it more of like a click. So I might have this also start when the laser starts. And if you wanted to add other stabby chords, wavetable or something, you can use this house to go chord preset. Just a minor chord for all purpose house slash rave. I think I'm gonna automate some of this acid more. So I might do command four and then just kind of raw some evolution. Then I might push this right end up just to like make it kind of turn up more. Then I might get an easy wash out, wash our way into like a build up kind of thing. Duplicate the squire stab, then add an OTT. And then I'm gonna freeze and flatten this. And then now that we have these, we can reverse and have it lead up before our stabs. I have this lo-fi drum bus rack that's coming to the Dink Sauces rack pack for free in the next update. I'm gonna use this to automate the drums over the build-up. Then I might pitch bend this to go up. And then take out the chord changes. Now I'm going to make the drums more of a dubstep pattern now. Let's put this wheel up signal before the drop as the pre-drop. Press zero on everything. So now I think it'd be fun to get granulator. Let's go to the jungle jungle sample pack and find some kind of maybe vocal. Like we could get maybe arpeggiator and also group this and put an operator sub put it back in our skill that we bass enhancer for my rec pack let's go multi-band switcher To, to crunch this more together. This could be like a little like background thing to like kind of complete the sentence a little bit. Now maybe to add some like extra touch for the after drop part, I might get an operator saw. I may just change this part to be minor because I don't like the vibe this part is giving.
I'm at the point where I'm editing right now and I want to explain some things I did that I didn't explain initially. I changed the tempo during the drop because I thought it was too slow, but or I automated the gate to be more snappy in this middle section so it goes. I was doing the video game laser thing as the lead in the B part and it sounds like this. And on like all of these leads, I added uh, my sidechain reverb rack for my rec pack just because it kind of gave it like a kind of like a spacey push. And I think that's everything I didn't show. Obviously not exactly like 100% G Jones sounding. I hope some of it was informative for what anyone might have wanted to learn, but let me know what other artists you want me to attempt or what other videos you might want to see. Stay tuned for new music and my upcoming sample pack.